Hello. Welcome to Spank Line. My name's Jane. Could I have your credit card number? And then we can get down to business. <laughs> Everybody, it's a very, very big scene. The preacher's going to come out and tell you that there'll be no burning tonight. It's really exciting. Well, to go to your homes. You're not happy about it. I want lots of mumbling and grumbling, okay? Right, I'm on That's okay with me. Right, ready to go for a take? Action! Go home, you people. There'll be no burning of witches tonight. Mumbling and grumbling. Good. Was somebody speaking while our preacher was speaking? That was me. I was mumbling and grumbling. That's, that's what you asked for. After the preacher's finished speaking. All oh, right. OK. Right. A little bit more volume from the crowd. It's a witch burning. Burn the witch. Oh, the Not witch. happy about it. Not happy at all. Action. <laughs> Go home, that's you people. Nonsense, There'll be no sir. burning of witches tonight. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. A lot of nonsense. Cut. <laughs> Who said that? That was me. What did you say? I said, that's a lot of nonsense, burn the witch. You know what I mean? Okay, please try and speak at the same volume right. as the rest of the crowd. Right, right, and so I want the crowd to be more angry, more right. animated. Have to be louder. It's a witch burning for God's sake, okay? Action! Go home, you people. There'll be no burning of That's a lot of shite. I got rid of that witch. She's not, nothing but trouble anyway. With a broomstick and a black cat and all that. Cut! <laughs> What's your name? My name's Ronald, Ronald Villiers. I'm with Whittacombe and Pump. Please try and speak in unison with the rest uh, of the crowd. So, sorry, wait a minute. It's, uh, sorry to interrupt. Unison. Unison. At the same, same time. time. I, yeah, I thought I knew okay. that. I, I knew that. And I have a question for you. What was all that about black cats and broomsticks? Oh, witches have got black cats and broomsticks, haven't they? Yeah, maybe in The Wizard of Oz. This is Salem, OK? It's a different thing entirely. Right. OK, are we ready? Burn the witch! He I'm comes not... out angry, angry, angry. Right. Tells you to go home. Right. Action! Feel good about this one. Go home, you people. Burn the witch. There'll be no burning of witches tonight. Burn, Burn the witch. Burn, Burn the witch. But she's not got a pointy hat or anything like that because this is Salem and it's not the rest of the boys. No way. Jesus. Right. I'd like you to come forward if you don't mind. What's your name again? I told you, Ronald. 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 Okay, you Ronald. Ronald. If you could try it this way for me, right. if you don't mind. Okay. Say nothing. Right, so that's been no line. I'm going to make you the leader. Wait a minute. I might, not have, I might as well not have came here the day if I've not got a line. I'm going to make you the leader, though. You're the leader of the crowd. All right. OK? I'm a leader. That's right. right. Preacher comes out, says his line. Right. Crowd go nuts. Except me. Except you, right. that's right. Okay. You say absolutely I'm nothing. I'm not saying it. I'm not going to say it. When the crowd have finished going nuts, right. you throw down your torch. Down it goes. That's the cue for the crowd to disperse. So they're not moving it. I do that. That's right. right. Well, I'm you the do leader. all that. You're listening. Right. <laughs> I'm ready. Action! Go home, you people. There'll be no burning of witches tonight. Burn the witch! Burn her tonight! Burn her! Shut up, everybody, because I'm the leader. So away we go, up the road, because if you follow me, let's go home. I thought it was good there. I'll tell you what, I'm bloody roasting. <laughs> Can't believe the size of this place. All right, you've got to watch, especially when you've this much stock. The men build skiving caves. Skiving caves? Uh huh. Take the pallets, build them into walls, and hide in them. Fly monkeys, eh? <laughs> Paper, tranny, sleeping. Shh, give me up. Oh, come on, last one. 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 Come on,
going to no do that. Who? Oh. Just going to no. Aye, he's up the stairs, more looking after our guest. You know we've got somebody staying, don't you? Aye, you do. I told you the other night. It's Kylie McWilliam. She's one of the Kosovo refugees. Derek brought her back for Chapman's on Sunday. I tell you, Mum, there's no many wives could say that they've got a man that would look after complete strangers for the other side of the world, especially 17-year-old ones. Aye, Derek's teaching her English. Yes. 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 Do you hear that? That's him yes. teaching her to say yes. <laughs> Tell you, Mum, it's really strange hearing a foreign language spoken in your own house. His Majesty's home for the blind. Oh, His Majesty's home for the blind. You could sneak in and feel them, they really don't mind. His Majesty's home for, His Majesty's home for, His Majesty's home for the blind. They don't see nothing. His Majesty's home for the blind. Now, after a long morning's walk, the sight of this stretch, with its sharp incline, can seem very intimidating. Uh, that's right, Rory, because uh, this particular stretch of road here is a particular favourite with uh, the backpackers and the hitchhikers alike, because uh, what they like to do is try and catch a lift up to the famous McGrory's Tavern for a spot of refreshment. Let's see how long it takes us to catch a lift. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, look, here we go. <laughs> Oh, eh, not bad, eh, Alistair? I can almost taste my brownie's legendary broth. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, lads. Oh, hi, very good. Very, very good. Hey, you come on, my lad, fire! project's been in development for some time, uh, as is always the case with listed buildings, an absolute nightmare of red tape. 18 luxury apartments converted from this church. Penthouse at the top, four corner apartments and a shared vestibule in the... Yes, a double nugget! That you sorted, Bobby? 
Oh, aye, aye, aye. A wee bit of sawdust always does the trick. Give that a couple of minutes, it'll be right as rain, eh? Ah, sawdust. Great stuff. Are you taking a gym class today? No, actually, I've uh, done my leg in playing football. It's torn ligaments. Takes four weeks to heal, apparently. Nonsense. Give <laughs> <laughs> that ten minutes, it'll be as right as rain. <laughs> Now it's time to revisit Moss Park Bowling Club, ten months after Danny McIntyre was expelled in a storm of controversy. It's a beautiful morning, and an important one for Moss Park. Margaret, the Ents convener, prepares for the year's finals, where Moss Park meets Finiston. Well, it's a big day for the club today, you know, because uh, we're defending our title against Finniston. A wee bit of a problem there, because uh, Danny McIntyre, that plays for Finniston, and our man, Pete McCutcheon, I don't really see eye to eye, you know, bit of bad blood there. Anyway, I'm not bothered about that, because I've got lunches to prepare here and get sorted out, because uh, a regular chef's off with a bad bout of Bell's palsy, you know, so we've got a new boy in. That's a bloody good advert, that. Smoking out of the bloody sausage rolls. Why you cook the lot yourself, darling? Oh, Charmin! What's the colour of his horns? In the boardroom, Moss Park plan their match strategy. Hey, OK, now listen, boys, listen, listen. Sammy, you need to keep your eye out for that Bobby Kelly. He's your danger man. Oh, no, here now. No, you don't have to worry about him. No, he took a stroke about four months ago. He's not got the grip anymore. No, he couldn't snap a wet fag now, no. Mate, <laughs> the only problem I see for you is Danny. He's hot to bring you down. Now, you see, listen, Danny's a panic merchant. and seemed to go down to the wire, right? His bottle will crash. No, f*** Danny. He's a prick. No, 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 Jeez, that fish looks iffy. Right, lad. Who's chef in here? Yes. Frank. Hello, Mike. Tension is high as Finiston arrive. Hi. Hi. Fanny. Half salt. <laughs> Look at this place, eh? What a bloody toilet, eh, lads? Ah, <laughs> it's a damn sight better than that bloody shithole of clubhouse you've got in Furnison. Yeah, <laughs> what was that? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you have some peas there? I've got my peas <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see your aim's just as good as I was, was eh? Right. Hey. Oh, Mags is on hand to act as peacemaker. Hey. That's enough, OK? Keep your shagging fine for out in the shagging green. Who are having this in my clubhouse? Bastards! It's late in the game. The final could go either way, suddenly and without warning. Oh, kick that fish! <laughs> Food poisoning. It's all right. Well, I'll be all right. I had the beef. <laughs> I mean, gee, that's them down a couple of good players now, you know. McCutcheon have the fish. I don't know. Oh, I'm just, I'm just uh, telling them I, I took the beef. I, I didn't have the fish. I'd have been fought for a huge fish, right enough. But, but that, that, that was all. You see, I'm a wee bit, you know. But I, I, I think I'll be all right. You know. In fact, there's, there's you there. <laughs> With players now falling ill, the game is becoming a farce. Come on, you! Hurry up, for Christ's sake! Pete and Danny reach the final. <laughs> Danny. Ah, you're up against it now, my kitchen, eh? <laughs> and it's Pete's last ball. The trophy rests on it. Oh! 
Hola, hola, hola. And for Ferris, then, Danny McIntyre. Next week on The Bulls, Danny receives his trophy from Pete. There you go. Mags discovers she's to be a grandmother for the eighth time. What? Again? You're like rabbits used to. And Danny arranges the catering for Pete's 60th birthday party. <laughs> Tonight at nine, heading towards you at top speed. I'm Humphrey Grammer. I'll be looking at the Sabishi Sabre 4x4 Turbo Interfreezer. Some say it's a bit of a samurai warrior. I say it's a bit like sushi. Roar and cack. <laughs> I'm Tabitha Tacton Farfar. I'll be testing the latest offering from Italian designer Scribolini Farti Panzo, the Fiat Focaccia. Typically Italian, you push it too hard, it surrenders. They say, il ducci. I say, I'll douche. Hi, I'm Ken White. Pulling power, not what it used to be. I'll show you how to get a Jerry Fanny magnet wrapped round about you for under 25 large. Tonight at 9, join Humphrey, Tabitha and Ken for Shite About Cars. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Patterson, it's not the greatest of news, I'm afraid. Um, we have the tests back from the hospital, the x-rays, the blood tests. But it's not very good at all. I'm afraid your son definitely has it. Magic. Dr. Reed! You get me a... Um... <laughs> get me a... Um... <laughs> an oyster! <laughs> And now the main points of this afternoon's budget again. Interpreting for the Neds, Rab McGlinchey. How are you doing? As expected, the Chancellor increased tax on the old favourites alcohol and tobacco. Beer will go up by four pence a pint, while smokers can expect to pay as much as £3.97 for 20 cigarettes. So I say you can't blame me for wiring in while I can still afford it, man. This daughter should be wearing a mask, so he should. No, I've got no choice but to get a line of my bra's transit, battle down to Carly and jam it out with fags and crates of that mad blonde and Dale Lager. It's a shout for that, a wee message to that, no? Meanwhile, there was better news for drivers as the Chancellor outlined plans for a price freeze on a gallon of unleaded petrol. That's better news. Don't talk piss. He's not got a scooby, by the way. <laughs> He's just going through the roof. I've got good mates, right, at work in the carnival. This could put 20 pence, 20 pence, on the price of a shot in the dodgems. <laughs> and finally, the Chancellor targeted absentee fathers. As well as an increase in the level of monthly child maintenance, he announced tough new powers for the child support agency. I sure, and I'm falling through into my boxers on that one. Listen, if you've not got it, they kind of get it off you. So look, mates, right? Don't go short changing yourself. Just please skin and gear what you can gear. No. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Gary. The Daihatsu's getting serviced. I had to jump a corpy bus. That's quite all right, James. I've been spending the last few hours travelling through the schemes myself, so I have. <laughs> Oh, the Gleska gangs, the Tots and the Toy, the Bison and the Cumbie. Tell me, Gary, has there been a right good Rammy yet? Well, this particular episode concerns the running battle between the Tongs and the Fleet. Oh, do tell. Well, Deke, he's one of the Fleet, or he's just after getting his coupon marked in the toilets of the Badlands. Ah, oh, the legendary ballroom above the barrels. Or oh, half a crown entry, quarter bottle down the trousers, and the bouncers honing out blades at the door. Tell me, Gary, was blood spilt on the Gallagate? Gallons of it, James, gallons. Oh, steel was flashed, brogues were spattered, and dish after dish was carved a brand new smile by the house of Fraser. Oh, the mindless <laughs> charm of men behaving badly. Oh, good June, James, but don't forget, this is back in the days when murder made front page of the paper. Ah, uh, you're right enough there, Gary. I haven't read about a right good Malky in ages. Here, mate, uh, sorry, uh, public toilet's out of order there, and uh, could I, uh, I, know it's, I know it's cheeky, oh, man. No, it's OK. Here's your loo, all right? Oh, cheers, cheers. 
Thanks, Ruya. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Uh, no problem. Land. Could do with some, do you know what I mean? There you are. You've had a couple of minutes, that'll be fine. Mama's a millionaire. <laughs> How's your head? Terrible. Never again, oh. midweek. What were we thinking? Oh, I know. Huh? no. Oh, God. I'm bad. You've got blood in your coat. Oh, God. Who did I have? Must have. Dribble out the... Oh. Liver tree. Oh, God, liver. I had to put kidneys in the grinder this morning. <laughs> Grind oh, yeah. Gonna use that cloth. I've got to wipe this blood off. Where is it? Underneath the oh. awful. Oh. oh my god. Oh. 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 <laughs> yes, madam. Um, can I have a pound of a uh, um a uh, tongue, please? <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, Richie Sampson will now answer some questions. Lance Norwood, New York Times. Lance. Richie, were you surprised by the success of branching out on Broadway? Well, not so much surprised, more delighted, you know. I mean, New York's the capital of the world, and... I think every actor, no matter who you are, wants to be involved in a success here, you know? <laughs> Stacey Dupree, Herald Tribune. Do you see yourself moving to Hollywood soon? Hollywood? <laughs> well, there's a couple of things in the pipeline, but uh, nothing concrete, you know. I think I'd rather wait before I take the plunge and try and find something that appeals to me artistically as, as well as financially. <laughs> Ian Meek, Daily Record. Richie. <laughs> You missing your most chips? Oh, <laughs> piss off! <laughs> Betty. Hey. Betty. Uh, well, hello. There's a relative of yours here to see you. Relative? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Betty McCarroll. Hi. I'm Titus Piemontelli III. I'm really excited to meet you. I've been reading up on uh, genealogy. St. Jaina, I suffer for son. No, I've been tracing the family tree. I'm uh, Shirley's son. Shirley? Shirley, your daughter. Ah, troll. <laughs> Haven't seen her since she went to America in 63. She called me a cow. Well, uh, Mom sends her hugs. Um, she was telling me about uh, my grandfather, Charlie, the war hero. Uh, I want to know what uh, Gramps was like. Charlie, the war hero? Gave me a service to the brothels than he did to the battlefield. <laughs> Shut it. He sent him, he was off his seat and bedridden, shouting out all the names of the French whores and that. And I was still good for a plunge, but Charlie was about as much just to me as a wet smarty tube. And when Charlie popped out, I just told him that that was his last squish of dignity. Yeah, a bugger than they know any different, you know. So if it's not Charlie, who, who is my grandfather? I had your mother in February 46, so she'd have been conceived around right about the time I was getting manky with Tinker McCusker, the rag man. The rag man. I see, in them days you could sell all clays for money. Tinker was a, a dirty bugger, he was never half the bones, you know. 
outside firing into itchy wives and, and lonely widows. Wouldn't much to look at either. Just the one eye and half his teeth were missing with the pie or ear, you know. And I reaped a cheese. What a bobby he had on him. Sometimes he, in a dark night you could mistake him for his horse. I did that a couple of occasions. That's right. I've got to add this Tinker McCusker to the family tree. Well, it wouldn't have just be Tinker McCusker. You'd have to add Wiley the Coleman and... Sweeney, the lamplighter, and uh, the fella with the limp that did the gas. Oh, and there was a fit team as well that laid up the pit. I mean, you're, you're going to be kept busy, son, and tracing this family tree, the amount of fellas that were hanging out me at that time, you know? Oh, thanks, Benny. Call oh, me, Granny. <laughs> Velocity petrol. Ni velocity petrol. Ni velocity car. For puppets. Velocity munchies. Velocity milky. Milky. Velocity fresh cream. Fresh cream. Velocity Snickers. Velocity Snickers. Velocity M and M. M and M. Oh, can't have a lassie M&M. Only have a lassie minstrel. A lassie minstrel. Mmm, OK. OK. <gasps> oh, the lassie Rizla. Rizla. Rizla? And Roach. What's a Roach? What's a Diddy? Cardboard! Oh, car, what a joint, eh? Oh, <laughs> joint. <laughs> Hola. Hola. That's me sorted for a lumber the night. What are you on about? Flavoured condoms. <laughs> what the hell use of flavoured condoms to women your age? They can't resist them. Yeah. Mint imperial. <laughs> Barley sugar. <laughs> Scotch broth. <laughs> Oh, my God. 